hello there everyone welcome to the new video in the previous videos we have learned how to create a networks creating the channels installing the chain code instantiating the chain code invoking the transactions and get querying the transactions these are all the things we have done through the command line interface in this video we were going to start creating the api using fabric sdks but before that just go we were going through the our network setup the first one i already told that we our network have two organizations we can see here organization 1 and organization 2 so each organization have a single indexing peer and both peers would be the committing peers because they are going to maintain their current state database so each and every transaction is going to commit on each peer so each organization have two committing peer and each ind one indexing peer so indexing peer and committing peer could be same the next one this topology is what is the transaction proposal what is the response invocation request and the invocation so when we write the apis for invoking the transactions i will show exactly what is the flow and how these transaction proposals are get created what exactly it contains there is a minor correction let jump into the vs code so there is one minor correction so in the previous video i have installed the chain code on each and every peer on all the four peers but it is not necessary to install the chain code on all the peers because we have only one indexing peer on each organization so peer 0 org 1 is the indexing peer and peer 0 org 2 is the indexing peer so no need to install the chain code on peer 1 and org 1 peer 1 and org 2 because these are not the indexing peers just make sure that you are going to do this change and that's it and now we will create a network from the scratch in this video so in the previous videos we have followed the steps like each and every steps like installing the chain code one step querying install chain code so we have followed steps step by steps now we will create a network using these shell script files by executing this let's start go to the home repository we can see different files here before that our network should be up and running so let me check docker processes we have no container running it means we have no service running in my machine so just go to the artifacts artifact folder so there we have one docker compose file here you can see docker compose just run the services docker compose up in detach mode so this command will run all this necessary services required for our network i made some changes in the repository so you make sure that you are pulling the repositories our current network have four peers four cows db instances two certificate authority instances and three orderers that is a draft okay now we can see all the services are up and running so what is the next step just go to the previous folder there is one file that is create channel.sh just run this file so what it does it creates the channel and join all the peers into the channel so next step is deploying chain code so there are two type of the files deploy chain code contract api deploy chain code.sh so i already mentioned that we can implement our chain code using two different methods using normal one and the second one is the contract api i will go through each and every steps but at initial steps we will be writing our chain code in a normal way and all the steps which are followed in deploy chain code.sh using normal chain code only let's run that deploy chain code in deploy chain code.sh file so we are executing each and every function line by line packaging chain code installing chain code query install the chain code approving for organizations checking the commit readiness approving for again other organization checking commit readiness and finally commit the chain code definition query committed chain codes initializing the instantiating the chain code that is the invoke init so we are again waiting here for some of the time because 
or instantiating the chain code it may take little time so that's why i have added some delay here 5 second delay chain code invoke and finally again i am waiting for some of the delay and querying the chain code so these steps all these steps will be executed when we run all these steps will be executed when i run this shell script so we can see on command line interface just i am executing this enter first one is packaged in on peer 0 org 1 installed on both peers in all the indoors in peers query approved for organization 1 commit readiness for organization 1 we can see again approved for organization 2 as well these all these steps are executing line by line so make sure that you in, in your case also it's executing each and everything successfully and finally here we can invoke the chain code here and query here so means all these steps are executed correctly if you want to create a crypto material just go through the artifacts channel folder and there is one file that is create artifact.ss there is one file create artifact.ss so here using this file we can create our crypto materials as well as the genesis profile and the channel configuration block channel dot transactions file anchor pair updates these are folks are imports are these four commands are important for creating the materials genesis block transaction channel transaction block and generating the anchor pair for each organization you can create this and we already mentioned these references correctly in our files like in the environmental variable we can see here so we have already provided the certificate name these are not changing even though after creating this uh, crypto materials so make sure that if you are creating this in my case i have already created the crypto materials genesis block and configuration block anchor pair update for each organizations so i am not following these steps again uh, make sure that you are already have these files otherwise you, you won't be able to run your network so these are the mandatory files for creating the network just i'm clearing it again i have made some changes in the repository so make sure that you pull the repository this latest repository from the github and check the changes in the next video we will walk through the chain code in a both normal way and the using contract api just will go through that and uh, later we can start implementing our apis using client fabric client and fabric network both sdks so i have segregated some of the apis here uh, maybe in the next video we can start it that's it for this video stay tuned for the more update